Hi class, now we are going to the country of Mount Fuji, sakuras, beautiful kimonos, and a very rich culture and history that is Japan. Now, we are just going to focus on one thing today, and that's May 5, which is Children's Day. And on this day, parents hang koinobori, or fish kites, to wish their children good health and happiness. So today, we're going to make our own fish kite. But it's going to be made of paper, so these are the supplies you're going to need. The yellow paper is optional, which means you don't have to do it if you don't want to. But be sure to leave some space for the fish's eyes. This is going to be where the eyes are going to be. Then, I take some colored paper, and I only have these colors. And then I'm going to fold them into small shapes so that I could create scales for the fish. Now be careful when you cut paper. It cannot cut too many papers. You're going to have to cut maybe three or four at a time. It's much easier that way and it won't hurt your fingers. Now, I am marking the shape of the scales, which is semicircle or half of a circle. Now, if you find that you've created an oval, just cut it in half. Then you have semicircles. Now I'm ready to glue them. Start from the bottom. Apply glue on the bottom of the paper. And then one by one, arrange the fish scales in a row. I am doing alternate colors instead of one row of the same colors, but it's up to you how you want to present your fish kite. For the next row, you're going to put it between two fish scales on the bottom. But you can also put it right above the first fish scale. That's okay too, but I prefer to do it in between two fish scales. Proceed doing the same process until you fill the white space of the A4 with fish scales. Now cut out these paper that are sticking out. But be careful, don't cut out the ones on the bottom. I'm ready to draw the eyes. Now for the hardest part of the fish kite, it's to attach both ends of the paper together. You can do this by staplering them or gluing them. Now add the strings, one opposite the other. And for one final touch, I am going to use a colored tissue paper for the fish's fins or fishtail. When the wind blows, 
the fish tail is going to undulate in a very beautiful flowing manner. Just attach them on the bottom and voila! Show me photos of your work in the Google Classroom and have plenty of fun. Be creative. See you next time.